know some booties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, cause we getting baddies over here. All right, today's video, she feels your absence. When you ain't there, when you ain't all up in her face, hey baby, what you doing, how you doing, you good, everything straight? When you chilling, right? Doing your own thing, prioritizing your time, valuing yourself, putting yourself first, going to the gym, instead of going on that date that she begging you to take her on. Please, please take me out the way. If you take me out, I'll do this, I'll do this. She try to bribe you with a good time. It sounds great, cause you're like, you know what, she did mention. <laughs> oh, clapping cheeks. If you wanna clap cheeks, but if you, if you let the punani control you like that, you're never gonna get anything done. You're never gonna get, you know, your, your, your purpose accomplished in life. If you let Punani control you and make you go in the direction of Beta Billy, start doing Beta things, start putting her first, start catering to her, you're turning into the woman. Why would a woman be attracted to you if she's not a lesbian? If she's not playing for the same team? Why would she be attracted to you when you are acting like a woman? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. You have to maintain your masculine energy and sometimes you need to remove yourself from the feminine energy and be on your own because you can get sucked into that and your mind will become warped and you, you start to think it's okay to do all that. It's okay to put all the masculine things I need to get done and do to the side. It's not, all right? Wake up in the morning every day, brush your teeth. Look, the simple thing, brush your teeth, shave your face, do your skincare. Bow! Spray this on before you walk up out the house. Woo! Smell good, smell great. Magnetic by Mr. Cologne. Uh, get it before it's gone, link in the description. Um, yeah, man, do all this. Prioritize your well-being, your cleansiness. You know, take a shower, wipe your booty. You know what I'm saying? Do things to take care of yourself so that when you go out into the world and you present yourself, whether it's to, you know, a boss, you know, cause you gotta get your money right and, and your boss is looking at you and the presentation that you bring the crosses, you don't have bags under your eyes, you know what I mean? You groomed yourself, you're taking care of yourself, you look presentable, he might give you a raise. Cause old boy Beta Billy, he was stuck catering and entertaining his woman all night, woke up, bags under his eyes, just rolled out of bed, hair not done, dressing bummy, smells not good. He don't smell like magnetic by Mr. Galan, huh? Now his girlfriend tripping on him because Everything fell apart at work. Now he's booking a Zoom call with me so I could help him fix it. And I will. If you haven't yourself, first link in the description, book a Zoom call. Um, let's chop it up and we can get, get you on the right track. A lot of y'all a little off track going in the wrong direction. All right? So get it together. Stop putting her first. Pull away. Take your time for yourself. She hits you up. Hey, babe, uh, I, I can't talk right now. I got to get some stuff done. I'm behind on a project. Even if you don't have like a project at work or school, you have a project that you've been wanting to work on but you haven't been able to work on because you've been putting her first and you've been hanging out with her longer than you should and making sure she's happy and taking her here and doing this and spending money that you don't have to make sure she's happy and good so that you can maintain the relationship or even situation shit or just to attract her into your life to try to take you seriously. But now she doesn't take you seriously because she doesn't respect you. Come on now. Y'all gotta start doing better, man. But the moment you start to realize the less you do and the further back, you know, you pull away from the situation, the more she's going to feel your absence because you were there for a long time. This definitely works for people that have been kind of, you know, dipping into the, the beta Billy ways and doing a little too much texting, too much calling, talking on the phone and FaceTime and then hanging out in person, too much of that. This works even more because guess what? She's used to it. She's used to you being a certain way, to you always being available, to you answering every time she calls, to you being a sap, a sucker. But now, you starting to act like a man? You starting to take time for yourself? You starting to kind of like ignore her? Not call her back? Not spend hours on end on the phone? Hey, I gotta go, I got things to do, or I, I'll talk to you later, just text me. 
Oh, is it another girl? Is it another girl? That I she starts to trip. But this is where y'all slip. Y'all think, oh, she's tripping. I gotta, I gotta act right again. I gotta, you know, make sure she feels safe and secure in this relationship. Stop it, bruh. You want her to be tripping on you. Think about it. All the dudes that are successful with women have all their women tripping on them. Tripping, but respecting. Respecting them to an extent because they know just like that, they could be gone and replaced. Now, they're not tripping like, Oh, I'm gonna trip on you and you're gonna do what I say and I'm just gonna continue tripping. They'll they'll put them in their place. Be like, look, if you don't stop tripping, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have to be dipping because I'm dipping in some cheese. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Oh. And then they snap out of it. But you wanna tripping because that shows she cares. It shows that, you know, she's bothered by it and she has enough emotions behind the situation that you guys have going on a relationship and she wants to have that control over you but she's losing that control she ain't got the control she ain't got it all lot. <laughs> so yeah man she's gonna feel that absence she's she gonna feel it hard you gonna hit her bah! She'll be like, ah! where'd he go she gonna be on the drake search and rescue mission <laughs> looking searching she needs you now before she just wanted you she she might have not even wanted you Things might have not been going right. Things might be falling apart. Y'all didn't officially break up, but you might as well because y'all basically broken up in a relationship. So now you pull away out of nowhere. Huh? Oh, well, what's going on? Panic. Instantly. It's uncomfortable for her. She's not used to it. But now she has to make the move. Because if she doesn't, you ain't coming back. I mean, you ain't you ain't you ain't giving her that energy. Like you still be around. But you ain't giving her that energy that she really wants. Not like before. Because that energy wasn't working. That energy was making things rocky and shaky. She was getting too comfortable. You know, you were, you were giving her a little too much. Probably more than she was giving you. She was probably going out doing her own thing. Thinking, oh, it's all good. He's still going to be there when I come home. Grabbing my feet. Sucking my toes. That's, that's what she's thinking. Nope. Not no more. You ain't a sucker. You Alpha Andy. Come on now. Come on now. We got to kill the beta. We gotta kill the beta and do better. <laughs> Look, man, be absent. This ain't school. We could be absent. When you don't have perfect attendance, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you get perfect attendance awards? When you have lack of attendance, that's when you get the award and reward in the relationship. When you're not there, things start to go better. She starts to wonder, she starts to be on the lookout for you. She starts to give you the <laughs> punani some more. Give you them cheeks. Cause she's trying to reel you back in. And you're like, wait a minute. I was used to get in trouble at school for being late and not being, being in class. But now, if I'm not in class, I get the ass. <laughs> Woo! It's amazing. It's amazing how that works. Anyways, man, apply this. Stop applying the pressure, you know. I want a man that applies pressure. Yeah, sure you do, cause all the thirsty dudes that are doing it, you ain't giving them the time of day. And when you do give them the time of day, then you start to play. And then they get played. And then you cheating on them and that's not the type of dude I want y'all to be. All right, so you gonna be that dude that she cheating with, not on. You know what I mean? That is it for the video for today. If you guys liked it, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Attraction Made Easy Masterclass. Again, book a one-on-one -on -one call, Zoom call right now. And um, let's chop it up. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and uh, until next time, focus on you. And the women will too. I know some beauties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas.